how to connect Wix website to WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can connect any Wix website to your WordPress dashboard. Now, a lot of people wonder, hey, WordPress is so difficult to use when I'm trying to blog and it can be so much easier if I could just use Wix. However, WordPress has so many amazing tools that you want to really use the platform. And I'll show you guys how you can make your WordPress website look like it came from Wix because we're actually gonna import our Wix website. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is actually build your Wix website. I have a few sample websites ready, but I wanna build a new website. So let's go in together and click on create new site and build a new blog site now keep in mind that we are going to create on the wix editor and i'm just going to be using a template i'm not going to be customizing it much because i really like the pre-existing templates i'm just going to skip through all the questions and we're going to head on over directly to the name so let's say this is going to be called jane doe and I'm just going to click on next over here, click on skip, and we're just going to browse the template gallery. So I'm going to click on begin with a template and we're just going to search for a blog template over here. So I'm just going to look at some of the blogging templates. These are really good, but I'm going to look for something a bit more yeah, this looks really good. This is a beauty blog and I really like this. So I'm going to click on edit and we're going to create our Wix website that we are then going to import to WordPress. Now, we're going to be importing to WordPress.com, not WordPress.org. Those are two different things. So keep that in mind whenever you're importing because WordPress.org does not really allow you to import like this or you might be able to import but you will have to do that section by section and via code so keep that in mind now i am just going to make this about you know whatever beauty salon whatever and i'm gonna click on create site text and it's going to create the text for us and this is what i love about using wix is that you don't have to do a lot of work at all it's super customizable Everything is a drag and drop edit away and I can just really do anything I want. So I'm just going to click on this, click on the title, we had Jane Doe, a make blog. And then I'm just going to click on publish over here, click on save and continue. You don't even need to purchase your domain. You can use the free domain if you don't mind it. And I'm just going to click on publish now and then I can open up a preview as well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to head on over back to your dashboard. So you can just go into your dashboard to actually manage the back end of your site. Now, from here, once you are satisfied with your preview, everything looks good to you. Then you're going to go into your WordPress dashboard. So this is our WordPress dashboard. And you guys can see I have two WordPress sites, but I'm just going to import this Wix site into one of them. Now, to do this is very simple and easy. All you have to do is log on to WordPress.com. Once you're in WordPress.com, you're going to scroll down on the bottom left. The third last option is going to be tools. You're going to go into tools over here. And once you're in tools, you're going to click on import. Now, once you click on tools and then click on import, this is the page that you're going to be created with. Now, in this page, you can choose to import content from WordPress.org, Blogger, Medium, Squarespace, Substack, and Wix. Now, you can also choose from the full list, and there are multiple different options available. So, you have some other options as well, but we're going to go with Wix. So, I'm just going to go back and click on Wix. Now, you are going to enter the URL of your Wix site. So this is our Wix site over here and we're going to copy the URL and then paste it over here. Once you've done that, simply click on continue on the bottom left. Once you click on continue, this will begin actually, you know, scanning the website, how to import it because there are so many different manageable items. These are structured differently. It's going to show us the page now. It's actually showing that this is a static page currently and although this is not a static page i'm gonna let it import the particular site if it's still showing a static page to you you can obviously uh, restart the process so you can go on ahead and click on cancel 
and then you can re-enter your particular site click on continue over here and then it's going to find your site again now you can do this a couple of times if you just created your wix site it might be a static page and then also keep in mind that your wix site needs to be published it needs to be a public wix site as well once you actually see your content you're going to click on yes start import and it will begin importing your wix site onto wordpress.com now the best part about this is that you can use wordpress.com as a mediator between wordpress org and wix so you're going to let this import be completed and if you were previously building on wordpress org you can also import that over here and then it will just be a collaborative website where you have built from multiple different panels and it can be a creative and a interactive website that is not going to look mediocre instead it is going to actually reflect the brand aesthetic that you have and you will be able to promote your brand's uniqueness so you guys can see it's currently importing our posts, pages, and media files, depending on how much data you have on your website. So if you created this Wix website like a couple of months ago and you've been posting on it, then obviously that is going to take a lot more time. However, if your site is relatively recent and you haven't posted a lot, there aren't a lot of files that need to be imported with that, then it's going to be easier. So we're just going to wait for this to be completed and then we can actually, you know, see what it's going to look like on the actual WordPress site. So I accidentally closed that, so we're going to have to re-import our site, but it's going to take not too much time. And I'm going to go back into our homepage and let's go ahead and just take a look at the site. And you can see over here, this is just, you know one of our little templates it's obviously currently importing from our Durden store this is the store that i actually imported but this is the revert store home essentials and it's currently you know importing items from here so it's just a bit of a mishmash but it's still completing the import but you can see even if you open it midway you can see the home page the home essentials for sustainable living i'm pretty sure this is in the second section of our website and we're just going to wait for this to be completed now once it has been completed you can click on view site over here and obviously this is going to sometimes if it's not synced up you're going to have to sync some items up and for that you can go into pages on the bottom left and once you go into pages on your wordpress dashboard you can start organizing these because obviously when you import from wix it's a different platform you're going to click on view page for each individual page and then you can get started with customization so this is our shop all page i can click on view page over here and obviously because this is a particular type of website this is a shop website so it's not going to look or convert as well as a blog website or a portfolio website would be so make sure to keep that in mind as well but it's super simple to edit if you want to edit anything you can open up that page so let's take our policies page over here and you guys can see this is our policies page so i can click on block and I can get started with selecting any block over here and I can get started with editing it so I can replace images I can edit the text I can edit the formatting of the text I can also you know edit the image sizes so I have this image over here and let's say I want to resize this so we have our featured image and I might want to delete it so I can click on delete on any of the items then maybe I have this where you know the sustainable e is off center or off the actual alignment so you can change items like this as well and then behind that we can add more items if we choose let's say we have this image i can click on image and then i might want to make it in a gallery format so it's inserted within and then on the right side you have you know page excerpts featured images that you can select and more so in this way you can get started with importing from wix to wordpress i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video